Ready, guys? Get a cow. Here's your wiring loom. I'm not going to have time to edit all the videos of me making all this loom. So here's your instructions to fit it. It's real simple. Stick the loom in the cabin. We need to use this shifter because I've put an extra switch on it. So that shifter goes in. The other one that you've already got in there may have get it replaced. Put that one in. I mount the dash. Plug the dash in. Put the firewall plugs through the firewall where you mark them. Put the loom on the engine. Plug it all in. Pretty much self-explanatory. Gearbox will mount on factory places. It's so simple. Plug it in. For the loom down the front, it needs to go down behind there and it feeds down to the crank sensor and the oil pressure goes the other way. Plop, pops out the back. Airflow meter probably won't be sitting on the bench. It'll probably be attached to the vehicle. Works fine on the bench. Oh, you're going to have to take the in... You've got the intake manifold off because there's the starter cable to go in. That's not too bad. The loom should go down where you wanted it, hopefully. Mount the link, mount the stock computer, mount the PDM. Oh, mount the little box. Mount the voodoo box, somewhere in there. Uh, mount the can lambda. Now the only thing you can get wrong is the can lambda plug and the dash plug are the same, but they're the opposite ends of the vehicle. And if you plug them in, both items will still work. So you could actually mount your can lambda on your dashboard and your dash underneath the seat. Probably can't see them, probably be pretty useless, but you can do it, you won't blow anything up, no problems. They're the same plug. Oh, mount the communication fitting for the, mot the PDM. Now, that can go anywhere, okay? Uh, I've just pushed these wires in at the moment. If you wanna put it somewhere else, if you wanna put it up the front, if you wanna put it under the dash, don't care, just Cut those fucking wires off, mount it up there, and we'll sort that out when we get to it. So that's easy. The link, I'll leave you a communication cable. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. When you're putting the wires into the shifter, be careful they don't touch the, the, little, the little lever system in there. Um, I'll put a bit of wrap over it, but I'm gonna be pulling that back off when we run the light wires anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll see how quickly I can get that intake manifold off, eh? Once I put all the loom on. These guys that say they're too hard to pull off, they're a bunch of pushies. So, I'll put the timer on when we pull that off. Not that I want to be accused of being fast at pulling off. Morning, Carl. Morning, I moved into the light. We've got this cable that uh, you're probably gonna need. And I've made it long, so you, any extra uses your earths. Uh, apparently, these bloody starters are so hard to get at. Wow, wow, too hard, too hard. What a shitty place to put them. Oh. Cry me a river. Well, let's see how long it takes to get it off. Here we go. We're going to set the timer. Stopwatch. Start. So I disconnected the fuel line. Uh, normally you disconnect it here, but mine's got a push on because it's my engine, my uh, test engine. I didn't have my PCV valve. We'll just disconnect that. Oh, that was really hard. We'll remove the, the, the throttle body, shall we? One, two. Mine's actually only got two bolts in it. Oh, we need to do this one. We'll just fake. Oh, yep. Just like your missus faking it. That's done. Now we, we better undo these ones here, so we'll undo this. This thing's a little bit aggressive. I should have my magnet with me. We'll do this. We'll do those nuts first. Oh, really important. Now this is really, really important when you do these things. Grab your ear duster. Oh. 
low, the little bits of wire from where I'd be wiring it, because that's the, what this motor spends its life doing. Oh, oh throwing shit everywhere. Because this motor spends its life getting wired, there's wire fucking everywhere. Right, then we take this nut off. Whoa, that went a long way. Right, and then there's, there's a nut down here, there's one down here. Got it, and there's one here. Got it, and there's one, there's one hand here. We got that one. If we go around to this side, there's one here. And hope you guys are keeping up. There we go. And we we'll drop the stock socket. And then there's one, one down here, and I am on my tip dog. Because I'm a short brick. And then we go. And then we're gonna wander over here, and hopefully, I've got a magnet. Here, we've got a magnet. We're gonna to, going to get this one. Got that one. Two. Three. And oh, didn't get that one. One, two, three. And the one that I threw on the ground. Four. We've got up. Oh. oh, we shouldn't count that nut. There's 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 four bolt, five bolt, six bolt. I hope we're keeping up here. We're on the clock. We've got it sitting loose. I've unplugged it there. There was no loom in the way. And I'm standing on the side of the engine stand. Oh, look at that! It's off! Oh. So I'm looking at the starter motor. We'll, we'll look at our timer here. And it says 3 minutes 22. Look at that, see? Oh, it's 325. I'll stop it. There we go. And we're looking at the starter motor. Fuck, that was hard, wasn't it? So I'll take this loom out for you. I might put a little number on there for you. So there you go. Guys that say these starters are in a dumb place. Oh, I've already got a number, that's left. Oh, bit of traffic today. So there we have your uh, start loom, alternator loom, and the knock loom. Now they go in the box too. So we're pretty good. It's gonna look a whole lot different when it comes out of the box. Hey, talk to you later. I didn't start it, did I? I gotta fucking start it. I always start these motors. Here you go. Oh, shit, sorry. This wire here, it's got written fuel pump on it. Connected to the fuel pump. Again, as a temp, so you can get it running. That can actually come out anywhere in the loom that you want. But I've just put it there. Those Terminals just pull out, so run your wires to the loom where you want it, then into those ones. That gets you going. Oh, and this is your ignition switch for the moment. Uh, on, off, and start. Probably not going to use that one in the real vehicle. We'll use the one that's in the vehicle, but hey, that'll get you going. Let's make a run. Rim. On. On. Oh, fuck, it doesn't go. Make sure it's in park or neutral. That actually works. Ready? At this point I was wondering what the hell I've done wrong. Just needed a moment to think. There's no fuse in the fuse holder. I need a fuse. You don't need a fuse holder in here. I've only got this because this is my jump wire. Fuses in the PDM. And I just wanted to double check that I had that actually working and configured for you. Let's give it a try.
let's try that again because I had the throttle off because it was making a bloody annoying humming noise so when you turn it on oh fuel pump's going the throttle sometimes makes a humming noise like this and when you're working drives me bonkers here you go So the fuel pump circuit works, we're all looking good, motor runs, vroom vroom, I'm putting it in a box, come see you tomorrow, looking forward to meeting you, catch up, it's going in a box, it's going in a box, a couple of amendments, and I've got to remember to get some more of the self wrapping braid, uh, the red black, that's for the reverse lights, can go out the loom wherever, this black one that's a spare earth, just in case I need it, and it was really handy for testing so if I don't use it I'll put a terminal on it by the ECU now the shifter factory plugs can't get that wrong but over by the dash here there's a one marked USB uh, the USB connector is in the box in the in the dash box and there's a little resistor over here uh, I can shorten this wire, not a problem. Uh, so just mount that somewhere where it's going to be away from stuff that can burn. It might get a little bit warm. Popping out of the loom by the firewall plugs, there's a, a green white. That's going to go to the stoplights. It's one of them. There's a couple more yet. And then there's these wires here, they're for the radio, if you want radio power. So that's uh, those ones, that's good. I'm happy. I'm also telling you, so if I forget, I can watch the video. Uh, I will give you a copy of all the notes though as well. So there we go. Time for that one to go in a box too. And then I'll pull that loom off, put that in a box. So we have it all, three boxes, engine loom, dash, and body loom. Hold on to control boxes and an oil filter. We'll talk to you later. It's all coming your way.